Hi, Melissa. Hi, Leslie. You're both looking fabulous today, by the way. I'm loving the eyeshadow in particular. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we're set, we're um, set congrats on the movie. right now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Uh, congrats on the film. It's beautiful. Uh, my first question is, had you seen the Sage musical, you know, before you got approached about the role? I hadn't, but I know Mel, Mel had um, many, many, many a times. So yeah. tell <laughs> now, I'm, time. now I'm getting embarrassed by the story because <laughs> people have told me. Shared it so many times. I was literally <laughs> one of the biggest fans of the show, I think. Um, I saw it many, many times on Broadway. I saw it with the original cast. I saw it with every other cast. I was in New York studying musical theater. So you can imagine that this was like my safe haven show. Every time that I was like, ah, this is hard. I'd be like, I'm going to go watch In the Heights and get motivated because there's a place for me as in this industry. Oh. And uh, yeah. So, yeah. That's so validating. But, mm-hmm. Yeah. And Leslie, because you hadn't seen it, you know, what drew you to this story then when you got the script and you got told about it? I uh, I lived it. I felt like I knew these people, you know, and my mom is a real, real life da- da- Daniela, you know, who Daphne gets to play. She's a real salon lady. She, her first business was in Washington Heights, just like Daniela, a couple blocks from where we shot all summer. And she owned, you know, she moved up to the Bronx, just like Daniela. My grandmother, her story was that she, she, she's an immigrant from Dominican Republic who came to this country without her children, hoping to scrub enough houses to eventually bring her children, my mother and her siblings here. Um, I know the guy on the corner store at that owns the bodega or that runs the bodega and hopes to go back to DR and retire there. Like, I know these people, they're my family. Uh, so when I when I heard the soundtrack, which is how I fell in love with, with the musical and the music, like that's, I was like, oh, and hearing the stories through the music, I was like, yes, I know, I know these people. Like, and I know Washington Heights and I like, like, I know this neighborhood, so I just, as soon as I knew that this was being made, I wanted so badly to be a part of it and to play someone like Nina that felt like myself. Yeah. And the question for both of you, how important is it we have representation like this on screen? Like, I'm trying to think back to last time I saw such positive representation. It's all about community. Yeah, it must be so important. It is so important. It's, it's... It's so important for, especially for the younger generations, for a, for a community as a whole to see themselves on screen and to feel validated and to feel like their stories and their voices matter is everything. It can literally make a huge difference in the, in how big a community dreams. Mm-hmm. And if you've never seen it, I don't want to say if you can't see it, you can't be it because clearly Lynn saw a void and then was like, yeah. I'm going to create, I'm going to, I'm going to fill that void. I'm going to create a role for myself and for my people. But you know, not everyone has that drive. A lot of people need the the encouragement of seeing someone that looks like them having done it before. So I feel like TV and film have an immense power in how in, in affecting the mentality of a people. And I feel like for a really long time, the Latinx community has been erased from the narrative. Mm-hmm. And that affects our people and how they live their lives. Yeah. And I think it's, you know, it's everything. I'm so happy that little boys and little girls are going to be able to have this movie as a reference and feel empowered. Agree. Yeah. That was beautifully put, like perfect. Yeah, um, and your favorite moment for set, uh, Leslie, do you want to talk about your favorite moment for set? I know it must be hard picking one, but yeah. just tell me about a highlight. It's hard, the whole thing was so great. Um, but, but but a moment that I'll never forget um, was our last day on set. And it was a moment that was saved like for that for that last moment. It's a little bit of, um, it's not even the end of, of Breathe. It's like <clears throat> uh, the, the part where Nina sings, just me and the GWB asking Jane, Nina, what do you be? And she's looking out from her fire escape. Um, Joe Reedy and John had planned for that to be the last the last uh, thing that we shot. And uh, Mel and Ant, who I thought had already left and they had already wrapped, they, they, they surprised me and Corey. And I was directed to like, 
turn from the window on the fire escape out to look at the horizon and ask Jeannie, you know, what do you be before we were going home? And then I'm looking at everyone that we made this movie with that I got to become family with. And it just immediately broke me down. And, uh, and, it, and it allowed me to, to feel exactly what Nina's saying. We were all going home and we were all with that question in our head of like, what do I do after this life changing experience? Like, what am I gonna be? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do with this? Um, and little did we know that we were gonna have to wait so long, you know, for this thing to come out. So uh, it was a moment I will never, ever, ever, ever forget. Yeah. It changed me. Mm -hmm. I love that. Sally, that's all we've got time for. Thank you both. And okay. Leslie, you singers made my day. Can't believe you just sang to me on Zoom. So <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. And congrats thank you. once again.